Hello, everybody. Terio Jenkins here, owner of Terio Jenkins LLC, the feature of Christian comics and cartoons. And I thought I was set up for this first episode, but I am not. So until actually, I am now set up. We're gonna we're gonna start here. Well, we'll go with this for now until my background slides are designed. And you may be wondering, what are we going to talk about? This is going to be my business blog. And this is the business of comics. So a little bit about myself. Again, I'm Terry Jenkins. I have my Bachelor's of Arts in Humanities from Fairly Dickinson University. I have an Associates of Applied Science in Graphic Design and Digital Media from Rowan College. RCBC. Rowan College at Burlington County, um, formerly known as Burlington, um, Burlington County Community College. And I have my Master's of Fine Art in Creative Writing from Full Sail University, um, Salutatorian, Salutatorian. Thank you, thank you very much. And um, I started Favor of Athena originally as a four issue miniseries that was called Scarlet Knights. And then I adapted that into a novel, which became um, Gluttony. And then from there, I decided to do a prequel novel called Lust. And I am now adapted Lust, Lust into a comic book. And I've changed the name of the series from Scarlet Knights to Favor of Ares to now Favor of Athena for the, for the remake. And um, and that's what this is. It's a remake, but it's um, you know, taking in everything that I've learned, taking in um, you know, um, the successes and failures, and the criticisms from others is what led me to start Favor of Athena. Um, I was almost done with my master's degree when I was in a multimedia adaption class with. Bell, Bethany Duvall, and in it, um, we were allowed to adapt. We had to either adapt um, one of our stories that we were in in previous classes into a comic book format, or we had to adapt another piece into a short film. And since we, at this point, already had like three short film scripts, I decided to do a comic book script. And along the lines, I learned that my niche is comic books, actually. And so September, I started up my Patreon. And by October, we were up to $70. And now we're up to, I forget how much we're grossing, but we're netting. Um, two hundred and thirty-three dollars. Now, I believe I am sharing my screen. Yeah, so we're grossing two hundred forty-three. We're netting two hundred thirty-three of that. So, um, and then around December of last year was when I started my LLC, and I've been trying to grow my publishing company to publish favorable Athena. Uh, I've been trying to work on the business credit. I've been to, you know, I've been um, studying various mentors on Instagram. Um, I reached out to a few comic book mentors, Greg Burnham of Tuskegee Hairs, David Lilly of Dreamkeepers, Comfort and Comfort Love and Adam Withers, who um, they make, um, ooh, nervous. <laughs> the uniques and uh, why, why don't I just pull them up and I don't read the other series I, I do read the uniques comfort and Adam 
I want to say alone, Rainbow in the Dark, Rainbow in the Dark, and the Unique by Comfort Love and Weather. So I, I've, um, I've talked to them a few times. Um, I'm not consistent with keeping up with them, so it's really on me. But um, that's probably one of the first tips I would like to give is that you got to find a mentor. Um, now, as far as this business, I'd follow like Noel Randall on YouTube, on Instagram. I was following Ellie. Well, I'm not following her. Um, I liked a lot of her videos, which led to my girlfriend slash business partner following her. And I just finished a whole week course with Ellie um, over a week ago. And so I was inspired to come up with a business component to, um, cause there's a bunch of books that tell you how to self-publish um, comic books. Um, you know, there's the self-publishing guide to comics by Comfort Love and Adam Withers. There's making comics like Crows by Greg Pack, by Greg Pack. And um, there, there's, there's tons. And, but you know, the, the thing that is limited about books like that is that they touch on the important elements for sure. Um, like in the self-publishing guide, they have a section on publishing and a section on marketing. And it's, it's you know, you do learn a lot, but it doesn't go into details. Um, and I just want to try to help other comic book creators as they start their journey to learn that you don't have to just be a freelancer. Um, you can start your own company. It's very cheap as, um, to do. And that's going to be the whole point of this series. Um, just going over more so the business end of comics. And I don't have a particular topic tonight other than um, getting your LLC started. But you don't just need to get an LLC. Um, there's other company structures you can look at. There's sole proprietorship. There's partnerships. There's C corporations. And then there's S corporations, which um, I might move into depending on how much money we make in the next few years. So um, that's kind of the stuff that we'll be talking about. Um, we'll go over trademarks, copyrights, and licenses. And uh, let me put my notes here. And let's see what else. We'll go over printers and color separators, contracts, um, comic book distribution and sales. Um, we'll, and a lot of this, I will be using um, my resources from Tony Coppola's book, as well as the books that I just mentioned as well. So um, we'll talk about gaining capital and investors, which um, I, which is where I'm at. You know, that's what my Patreon is all about. And then budgeting and bookkeeping. And I'm trying to think of what else. Um, sales and marketing strategies and secondary rights, which is you licensing your, your um your comic book out so that a movie can be made and TV can be made and stuff like that, which is the ultimate goal that I'm going for. And if that doesn't happen, hopefully I make enough capital to start my own animation studio, or at least animating the, the series myself so um so that's the whole point of this particular series it's not going to be um we're not really going to focus on the product creation as far as this is how you write that's what my comic writing guide writing comics guide um series is for and then um and, you know, I really can't help anybody become a better artist. I, I'm just going to call it what it is. I can't. Uh, <laughs> I'm still growing in that regard. Um, and the same thing goes for coloring and um, lettering. However, I do want to do a series from a writer's point of view, um, what those entail, and give, you know, little tips here and there if I can. So, yeah, so that's the whole point of this particular video. Um, 
next episode we'll go over um, the materials that you need to get started with your comic book if you're a writer or even if you, this is for if you are a writer illustrator um if you are creating your own comic book this will help you on the business side and even if you are not creating your own comic book a lot of tips that i'm going to give are not really specific to just the comic book um genre this a lot of the tips that i have and knowledge that i will be dropping goes for any business that is starting up so um i'm looking forward to giving you what i've learned i'm looking forward to meeting other people and networking um because you know there's multiple ways to get to um where you want to go yeah so but yeah that's it that's the whole point of this video. Um, again, bro, um, to review uh, future episodes, we're gonna go over company structures, trademark, copyrights, licenses, copy book creation, printer, color separators, contracts, comic book distribution and sales, sales and marketing strategies, promotion, advertising, and public relations, budgets and bookkeeping, capital and investors and secondary rights. So like I said, it's not just comic books, it's um go for anything, but you know, I am tailoring this for the comic book population. So thank you for watching. Hit that um, bell to be notified of new videos, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment. If you're following us on Instagram, same thing. And if you're following on all the social media platforms, thank you so much. I look forward to dropping my knowledge on y'all. And I'm looking forward for y'all to drop your knowledge on me so that we all grow. So until next time, be good, be terrific. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Get out the way.